Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You don't touch me. I did I'm not resisting, dude. Why is it? Put hands on. No matter how hard the police try to be heroes, if it isn't in their true nature, they'll always come off as villains. This was clear in these three cases where the police displayed extremely unacceptable behavior, especially in the first case where a ruthless cop went to the worst extent to abuse the power he held. In October 2020, police were called to a domestic dispute in Sterling, Colorado. Things took a turn for the worse when officers arrived and spoke to a man named White at the door. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, wasn't you involved? No. Alrighty. Is that the vehicle though? I don't know. What's going on? Just an argument. An argument? Okay. Who all is inside? What's up, man? Come out here and talk to me, man. No. Officer, who was later identified as McDaniel, responded to a complaint from a neighbor about a couple's fight, with reports of a physical fight and the sounds of kids screaming. Come out here and talk to me, dude. Hey, do don't do touch not me. pull away from me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Do not! I'm not resisting, dude. Why are you throwing hands on? Do not fight. I got cuffed. Hey. 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 Let go. Hey. Ah. Stop. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. Right, I got cuffs on. That pocket's clear. I can't tell if there's something there. Hey, get off my neck, bro. He's not even on I'm it. not even on your neck. All right. You gonna be cool? Everybody got that on camera real quick? I didn't say anything. Or resist. You approach me, man. Look at all that videos, man. Really? It was downright sickening to hear the officer shout stop resisting at Weitzel when he wasn't resisting at all. McDaniel jumped at him like he was ready to kill, yet still had the nerve to accuse Weitzel of resisting. Uh, what's wrong with you? I didn't even fight. Let me see your camera, dude. Let me see your camera, dude. Hey! You really? Don't, you don't make the rules. Uh, I ain't even doing nothing, Let like go of yourself. God, what are you doing, dude? Ah! Bend your legs. Hey! There you go. Hey! Hey! Quit! You quit. I ain't doing right. nothing, man. Get off me, dude. Eighteen will have a male in custody. Hey, stay over there for me, all right? First, these monsters arrested Weitzel based on an anonymous report, then hogtied him. It was outrageous and unbelievable to watch. All three officers used unnecessary force on him, showing just how disgusting they really were. Can I get the plate number for me, please? The plate number we are showing is... I don't like you guys for reaching you like that. I didn't even do nothing to y'all. 
Ready? Ready? Yep. Please get off me, dude. One, two, three. Ah! Dude, I ain't resisting. Let me walk. Get up. Videotape this shit. Get off me. Well, if we did that, we'd drop you. Ah! Hey! 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 Get off me, man! You hurt me, dude! McDaniel was a clear psychopath, and his partners were just as guilty, not realizing how wrong their actions were. They allowed McDaniel's insanity to reach a level of inhumanity. These officers were dirty to the core. What's wrong with you, man? Hey! Come on. Hey! Ah! Damn it! Ow! Ow! I slide, dude! Ow! I can't slide, dude! There you go. Reports revealed that Weitzel was hogtied and face down for over 10 minutes, even during the ride to the police station in the backseat of a patrol car, which was clearly a shocking disregard for his safety and rights. After an internal investigation, McDaniel resigned in February 2021. Meanwhile, Weitzel fought back by filing a civil rights lawsuit against McDaniel and two other officers, Sterling Police Sergeant Matt Williams and Logan County Deputy Alton McGuffin, making sure to stand up for the civil rights that were badly violated. Being spontaneous differs greatly from being furious, and this next cop overstepped that line without any hesitation. <laughs> On July 4, 2023, truck driver Jadarius Rose led the Ohio State Highway Patrol on a wild 25-minute chase in southern Ohio. He swerved dangerously, nearly hitting a police cruiser, before troopers used spike strips to finally stop him. When he exited the trailer, he kept his hands up, but what happened next was shocking. He took off again. Uh, we're heading northbound, 23. 1959 Jackson, I'll have driver. From northbound right lane, he rolled the window down, looked at us, rolled it back up. We're northbound 48 miles an hour, passing the Moore Road in Ross County. I need an update for 1020 again. Do not let them, re don't release the dog. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog with his hands up. It looked pathetic that one man was surrounded by so many armed police officers, yet they couldn't manage to arrest him in a more professional and straightforward way. They're, do not, do not, hey, do not, get the dog off of it. Get the dog off of it. Get the dog. It wasn't just a mistake, it was an intentional crime and a violation committed by the officer who was later identified as Ryan Speakman. The way the dog didn't see Rose as a threat at first was a clear sign of that. Yes, clear that. You got a first aid kit going up there now? Yep, he's, he's bringing it to me. I'm going to open it. 23 southbound, 
I, I say have one of the motor units at Masters, whatever. Yeah. Was that not loud enough? Yeah, you said it three, four like more times. <laughs> All those officers were a bunch of hypocrites. They had the nerve to say they weren't going to hurt him while they released the dog on him. Sadly, even the dog deserved a better handler. No, why you keep bending my arm? Here, here, here. We're trying to get a wrap. We're wrapping it up. We're not trying to hurt you. Here, here, here. Don't even touch it while I got handcuffs on. Y'all just making it worse. Man, we're, 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 and you still hey, laying stop, on me stop, like you're pinning me down. We're, we're wrapping it up. Nobody's on you. Yes, you are. Look, you're grabbing my shorts. We're trying to wrap you up. Bro, get off me. Mirror, I can't. Bro, I have I handcuffs on. What am I doing to you? You could kick somebody. I don't want you I'm to kick anybody. I'm not going to kick nobody. Come I just got bit by a dog. I understand that. Just man, you don't down. understand. You don't understand. Did you get bit by a dog? Okay. Stop squeezing me. Nobody, buddy. We're trying, we're, nobody's trying to hurt you. Shit, you just let a dog bite me. All you had to do was come to me. I was coming. All the guns pointing at me. How you do this thing to respect you? You got a gun pointing at me. It's like... 20 of y'all. All you had to do was stop, brother. It was utterly disgusting that a poor man got bitten by the dog and then was told he could kick someone. And with what exactly? His bitten legs. These officers showed no regret at all. What's your name, brother? You want to stand up on your feet? Or you want to sit on your butt? Mm -hmm. EMS is I don't know what you're going to let me do. I'm going to do some stupid Just ha have him set up, Tyler. Are you still let, let, him, let him set up. Shit, it's too late for that. You still squeezing me? I know. I'm you still squeezing me? Let it go. Don't put pressure on me. You have to have pressure. Don't know. Let, let it be. Just go ahead and let it be. Why are you still touching me? Okay. Why are you still touching me? Because you are under arrest. Yeah, I have handcuffs on. All right, so you can stop touching me. Tell me what I need to do. This tragic incident happened due to poor coordination and a lack of professionalism. Yet the police were more focused on the arrest, which was horrific. Why are you still touching me? Why, why are you still touching me? Yeah. I'm tight. Are you back in the I have a good Are you good? Sippy's got his ID with him. If not, we'll try to get it out of the truck. Hey, Mike, we need to make arrangements to get this truck off the road. I don't know if they get a wreck or something for that. What's that? I don't know. The canine handler deserved severe punishment for his actions. Incompetent people like him should be kept away from the force to protect civilians' lives. Did I, I, I not say, did I not say final warning, you're using the dog? The next available rollback, uh, left front tire on the truck is deflated, buddy. That's 65, probably knew it, but it should already be around, go ahead. Yeah, that's what I said, that's what I said. Okay. You still need the truck, RP. Tell him a time. Go ahead, is it? Turn it, turn it, Tom. Okay. 
Oh, I'm just saying, give it to this pass. Well, for one, I told y'all my left arm is tight right now. My left, my left, my left, my left wrist right now with the hand post. My right, my right, my right hand is looser than the left. It's tight. So y'all gonna cut off circulation to my Hold on. to my left arm. Hold on, wanna bleed out? I don't want it to be tight. It's gotta be, man. No. Otherwise, that's the, literally the tourniquet's job. To save your arm from being having to be amputated. The worst part was that officers tried to justify this ridiculous act and failed arrest. But there was absolutely no excuse for such behavior, especially since it was forced and intentional. I, buddy, I, I loosened it up. I can't. I'm not, I'm not putting it any loose. I can put two it fingers. Is, what in can it. I, y'all? If anything, y'all just tighten it up. Yes, y'all did. My handcuffs keep going. Right. He's trying to get me to lose my arm. You know, laying on it. Uh, shit, I'm not laying on it. I'm not laying on it. Not the left one. I'm not the left on my right one because my left one is tight. Try to help yourself a little bit. Stay off of it. Loosen it up. No. Exactly. Good Where man. is the EMS? They're on their way. How long is it going to take? I don't know. Well, you need to know because my arm is hurting. Right. They'll get here as soon as they can get here. That's fine. I don't want to. Sit up. No, it hurts. You want to lay down? That's fine. I told y'all it was it was too tight. Y'all don't want to listen to me. James, is that your mic? Alright. Why are you going to my pockets? Get your idea. It felt like they had all the time in the world, but EMS still hadn't arrived. Everyone just stood around waiting, putting stupid bandages on rows themselves. Nothing about the situation was normal at all. The Circleville Police Department fired Officer Ryan Speakman for violating department policy. His termination was due to the unauthorized and inappropriate release of confidential information he had access to through his position. Lately, it's tough to trust the police as protectors when they can't even and safeguard themselves, just like this officer who showed that in a big way. So at this point, you are under arrest for DUI, all right? Okay. I need you to put your hands behind your back for me, please. Okay. On September 7, 2018, Arizona SWAT officer Jonathan Schuler found himself in a tight spot when he crashed his car on the freeway and was soon after stopped by Chandler police sweating and shaking, turning the whole encounter into an investigation followed by the shocking revelation. So you were at the HGN lab? Yeah, at, uh... What was your role in it? <laughs> Not that one. Okay. You haven't been drinking, have you? No. Nothing at all? Nope, been smoked. What do you work for? What's that? What do you work for? City of Maricopa. Oh, okay, I see the radio there. Oh, yeah, we, were, we did our HGN lab, our uh -huh. final uh, gazes in, uh... Is that where you're coming from now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Stopped at McDonald's. So what happened to your car? Well... Driving down the highway, trying to eat my Big Mac and my double cheeseburgers. Um, there's nothing to drink tonight, no prescription medications? Okay. All right. Um, would you mind stepping out of the car for me, please? Are you still looking for the insurance? Yeah. Yeah, let's see if you can pull that up real quick. You all right? You're shaking, bud. No, yeah, sure. Eight accidents. I've been in one accident before. No, I, I got you. What time did the... Uh, the wet lab get over? About and mine was done about an hour, hour and a half ago. Okay. The way Jonathan was rambling made it stupid to even ask if he'd been drinking. It was obvious he wasn't in his right mind at all. All right. Nothing to drink? Nothing to drink, man. Your eyes are a little bloodshot watery. You're kind of shaking and... I'm shaking because I know how this goes down. How what goes down? Well, you're going to investigate me for a DUI. Most likely. Well, I just want to make sure you have to be driving, you know what I mean? Witness said that you hit a car, you don't recognize hitting a car. You've been doing this long enough, you understand no, if you I, were in my shoes how that would be. Yeah, no, I completely understand that. Okay. All right. Would you mind if I take a look at your eyes then? If you've had nothing to drink? Yeah, of course. Oh, perfect. All right. But I want you to stand with your feet together, arms straight down at your side. Are you wearing contacts? No. Any recent head injuries? No. Any eye problems? You've been diagnosed with any eye problems? No. No? Alright, what am I gonna do? No nystagmus. No nystagmus. Heads? 
kind of weird you just came from that. <laughs> Alright, so you understand what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to move it forth back in front of your face a couple times, follow with your eyes and your eyes only, don't move your head. <laughs> Alright? Do you understand the instructions? Yeah. Jonathan couldn't even stand still, yet he was behind the wheel. His behavior was highly irresponsible and extremely dangerous, not just for others, but for his own self as well. You see some of my pen? Yep. Alright, here we go. Try not to move your head, bud. Keep your head still. You're okay. Move, dude. You're still moving. Sure. <laughs> there you go. Ah, uh, we don't yell, bud. Do you understand the instructions? Okay. Any reason why you wouldn't be able to do this? No. Nope. Alright, go ahead and begin. One. All right, but you can go ahead and relax. Given Jonathan's condition, it seemed downright impossible for him to pass any test. Even it was difficult for him to have a normal talk with the cops. All right, bud. So the next one. Just relax. You're, you're psyching yourself out. I can see it, all right? All right, so the next one, I want you to stand with your feet together, arms straight down at your side, all right? When I tell you to, I want you to raise one foot six inches off the ground and keep that foot parallel to the ground. Keep your eye on your raised foot and come in. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop, okay? For the purpose of the demonstration, I'm going to raise my right foot. You can raise whichever foot you want, okay? It's going to look like this. 1,001. I think I'll raise my left raise foot. My left. All right. All right. You ready? Yeah. Go ahead and begin. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Thousand five, thousand six, put it down. Thousand seven, thousand eight, thousand nine. Nervous. I get you. Thousand ten, thousand eleven. Jonathan didn't bother to argue or complain about the DUI investigation because he knew he was in the wrong and had been caught. There was no way out of it now. Have you have you taken any prescription medications or anything? Uh, I took. Prescription uh, hydrocodone. You took hydrocodone? Yeah. When? For uh, my elbow surgery. When was that? Four hours ago. Four hours ago? Yeah, so it should be pretty well out of my system, I would think. How, how much are you prescribed? Okay. Um, so you took... What's the milligram? Five... You took, you took five? It's the, the prescription is five, whatever, and 325. Like the time release elbow. stuff? Yeah. I, I just had elbow surgery. Okay. All right. So you said triple zeros, right? Yeah. All right, well, let's, let's give that a shot. Jonathan had the right to remain silent or ask for an attorney, but he couldn't do either. He was too anxious to stay quiet, and the way he kept moving his arms showed just how nervous he was. So you don't know if he hit something? I hit something, definitely, yeah. But you don't know if it was a car or a median or what? I don't know if it was, was, car. I thought it was the, I don't know if it was a median, but the, on the outside lanes. Right. I think I veered into that, and then came back over. Okay. And you haven't been drinking anything in it? No. Uh, we had the HGN Jet Lab, which I've Do me a favor and take off your watch for me. In my pocket or? In your pocket, fine. All right, Jonathan, here's here's what we're looking at, all right? Okay. The triple zeros is, was kind of what we expected. Okay. I think with, with everything else, that you may have either taken more than you were prescribed of the oxy, or you took it too soon to be driving safely in a vehicle. All right? So at this point, you are under arrest for DUI. All right? Okay. I need you to put your hands behind your back for me, please. Okay. 
It's my left feet. Is it? Is that gonna cause you any discomfort? No, you're good. Okay. The left one is what you said. It was concerning that Jonathan didn't even remember hitting something while driving. He was clearly out of his mind and not fully conscious, raising serious concerns about his health. So, did you took it while you were there? After the wet lab? Yes. What did you retrieve that filth from? My pocket. So you just had a loose oxycotton in your pocket, or oxycodone. Hydrocodone, I'm sorry. I'm not a DR. I need to get better at that. So you just had a loose one in your pocket? Yes. Did you take anything else? No. Well, you told us you took Ambien when you were oh, eating the hamburgers. Yeah, Ambien. You're right, yeah. Where did you get the Ambien from? You got it prescribed. Why would you take a sleeping pill prior to driving a vehicle? To tell you the truth, because I haven't slept for sh I haven't slept very well. You're not gonna just you're not gonna offend us if you cut. You're fine. Okay. I haven't slept for shit since I had the surgery on my arm three weeks ago. I'm averaging two to three I'm two to three a night and I wanted to take it, get home and crash and not be up until two or three in the morning. So I thought I would take it. This was a clear case of drugs. Addiction, which was truly saddening. Still, officers like him should have no business holding badges anymore. You have no idea. You've never been prescribed anything else. No. Not for breast cancer. No. Isn't that what that pill was for? Yeah. It was Your wife had breast cancer. This is a male breast cancer pill. No. According Anna's, to drugs.com. What is that? Oh, for testosterone. That's a testosterone booster. Yeah. Okay. I can't think. Whenever you can't. How many pills were you initially prescribed? Because there's still a decent amount in here. A lot. Where's the original pill bottle? Probably at home somewhere. Or destroyed. Or who is it? The same doctor that prescribed this anastrozole that prescribed the Xanax? No. Wh who? What, what doctor prescribed the Xanax? Somebody in there, like a VA. It was common for military guys in Afghanistan to take pills after surviving bombs and serious attacks. But Jonathan took it too far. His actions led him directly into that mess. Whatever you can. How many pills were you initially prescribed? Because there's still a decent amount in here. A lot. Where's the original pill bottle? Probably at home somewhere. Or destroy it or who is it the same doctor that prescribed this anastrozole that prescribed the Xanax? No. Wh who wh what doctor prescribed the Xanax? Somebody in there like a VA. Okay. Where did you get the Xanax? From something off the internet. So you bought it off the internet? Yeah. Okay. And then you put it in the prescription bottle hoping that you it would just pass if you ever got stopped or somebody went through your car? And in my, I just threw it in the car. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's fine. And the same with the Adderall? Yeah. Okay. Were you issued Ambien? Or were yes. you prescribed Ambien? Yeah. Okay. How, how long have you been taking Xanax? I've had it for, I don't know how long, probably a year. If Jonathan was telling the truth about buying drugs from the internet, it was extremely dangerous that such high-dose medicines were available online without any checks or a doctor's prescription. There needed to be a proper way to regulate and manage online activities like this. What causes HGM? What kinds of things will cause HGM? Uh, CNS depressants. Okay. Xanax is a CNS depressant and so is Ambien. Okay. Did you see HGM? Neither did he. So, you haven't taken any Ambien today? No. You, the one that the Adderall is what you said you took. You said you took half of one of those pills? Yeah. Okay. So, how many, how often do you take Adderall? Maybe once every other day I have a pill. Okay. And then how often do you take the Xanax? Rarely. Rarely? You just leave them in your car just in case? Usually in the, in the center console? In the, uh, what do you call it, the medicine cabinet at home? They're sitting in the car. But I usually don't keep them in the car. Okay. So you 
put them in the car today. Yesterday. Considering Jonathan's condition, it was strange that when he was appointed as an officer, no one noticed he was a drug addict for a long time. There should have been a proper hiring procedure to determine if he was a good fit for the job. Officer Schuler was put on leave after his first crash, but on March 1, 2019, he struck again, hitting a tree and fleeing the scene. He resigned the next day and pleaded guilty to two DUI drug do these officers forget they're supposed to protect us? Or is this just a new trend of police villainy? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one we have in store for you. Thanks for watching. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.